Elon Musk once claimed that nuclear thermal rockets would be a great era of research for NASA. The SpaceX CEO talked about how the alternative to rocket fuel could help his company achieve reduced travel times around the solar system, which is a hot topic as his company works on ambitious projects to build a planet-hopping civilization. Stay with us until the end of this video as we dissect why Elon Musk thinks that a nuclear thermal rocket is an answer to deep space exploration. Welcome to Musk Innovation, a channel for tech geeks to say your curiosity about Elon Musk innovations. The idea of converting the SpaceX Starship to nuclear propulsion has been discussed extensively. It would enable a significant increase in particular impulse as well as a significant expansion of mission capability. However, is it truly worthwhile? The performance of a nuclear thermal rocket is quite outstanding. Their specific impulse is up to three times that of chemical rockets. They create comparable quantities of thrust, and they can accept a wide range of propellants from CO2 to ammonia. They can shorten space travel durations, transport much heavier cargoes, and refill with whatever liquid is available at their destination. They are hailed as the finest way to speed up human exploration and extension into space for these reasons. But why is a starship propelled by nuclear power faster? Today's chemical-based rockets work by igniting the fuel and forcing the exhaust through a nozzle, which generates thrust that propels the rocket into space. A nuclear-powered rocket, on the other hand, has a reactor on board that heats fuel like liquid hydrogen before firing it through a nozzle at high speeds. Nuclear rockets intrigue scientists because, depending on the design, they could create many times more force than regular rockets. The amount of push that comes from using a specific unit of gasoline is measured by a specific impulse. The original chemical Starship could transport up to 215 tons from low Earth orbit to the moon with a total speed of 5,930 meters per second, with the landing engines covering 800 meters per second, but it would have to stay there. It is not possible for it to return from the lunar surface to the Earth's surface. It could go to the moon and put itself back into low Earth orbit if it didn't have any payload. If the methane nuclear starship could land using its nuclear rockets, it could complete a one-way voyage with 271 tons of payload. If it lands on the lunar surface utilizing Raptor engines, the weight is decreased to 234 tons. What's more fascinating is that it may send a smaller payload to the moon and then return to Earth on its own. With 25 tons of cargo, 617 tons of methane propellant in the main tanks, and 36.7 tons of methane oxygen in the landing reserve, the 138-ton dry mass nuclear configuration exits LEO. It travels to the moon and lands thereafter, ingesting 520 tons of main tank methane at a speed of 5,930 meters per second. It then unloads its payload before returning to Earth at a speed of 2,700 meters per second. It lands using Raptor engines at sea level after aero braking. This is a huge win for reusability. The nuclear starship powered by methane has a delta V of 7,209 meters per second that it can use for interplanetary movements. The typical 120-day journey is cut to 88 days or even less, even when the planets are in perfect alignment. Allowing the starship to travel in the least feasible 65 days, the nuclear version can shave nearly two weeks off the trip, bringing it down to 52 days. Elon's dream to colonize Mars will be possible more than ever once a nuclear starship is successfully developed. So, would nuclear starship be worthwhile? Let us know your thoughts down the comment section. We'd love to have an intellectual discussion, but do not fight. Give us some love by hitting that subscribe button. Click that bell icon so you will be updated on our latest videos about SpaceX, Tesla, Neuralink, and everything about Elon Musk.